Let them vibes rain all over us. What is happening, nerds? Welcome to another episode. Nine Nerd Yards, Nerds at Night's collaboration. The nerds are back in town. What's happening, everybody? Wherever y'all are at, we love y'all. We really need to kick off this panel because we have an exciting guest for you today. So without further ado, let's kick it off. You know her. You love her. You've missed her. You've letting us know. We brought her back. It's Return of the Kears. Yeah, it. <laughs> That's what I was hoping you get. <laughs> My shirt, Return of the Mac, and then in parentheses, Kears. I, I know. I, I knew where you were going. I knew where you were. You knew. I knew you were, girlfriend. Yeah, I, 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 I would have fumbled that. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Return of the Jedi. But, no, no, no. Uh, I heard I, I heard it in my head. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kirsten, <laughs> you are back, man. I, I love it. I love it. How are you feeling? How you doing? It's you know, amazing to have you back, ma'am. I'm good. I miss you guys so much. But, like, my mental mm -hmm. health is in the shitter after traveling so much this summer. I just needed to breathe. So I appreciate everybody just letting me chill for a bit. But I'm glad to be back at it. Oh yeah, we are. We're I'm glad, glad that you to got to you. breathe, and I'm mm -hmm. glad to be sharing the virtual air with you. Mm. Breathe it all in, waft it, waft it, and you know he he's wafting, but it might not always be air. You know him, you love him. Live out of the gridiron, aka Portland, it's producer T or one of his clones. Is that what they call Portland the gridiron? I don't fucking know that, bro. But all I know is that they just got like. Mad, mad, mad amounts. Everywhere, so I've had some handfuls. You know, uh, on my uh, domestic tour of our beautiful country. You know, very pretty out here. I love it. Mm. Oh, as he love ships it. his champagne, nice. The pinky's it's Mary not out. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> if the pinky's not out, it bougie. don't count. Uh, he's so bougie. bougie. Oh, there he is. There he is making it count. And you know him. You love him, El Capitan, El Presidente himself, the ninth man on the court. It is nine. <laughs> nine. What's happening, baby? Yo, man, I am so excited for today's interview. I It's been a while. Um, for everybody watching, you guys know that we haven't been going live on this channel. Go check out Nerds at Night for more lives, but we had to go live on uh, Nine Nerd Yards tonight because... Oof, we got a special, special guest. With we got a banger of a guest. Um, Not and in the before, yeah, yeah. And and so before we get to the clip real quick, just to set this up, if you guys had followed us maybe more recently and didn't follow us maybe prior in the spring, we broke down and reviewed every episode of Dave's or of Lil Dicky's show, Dave, and it was season three. Um, so our next guest was on the first and last episode, um, and they th that last episode, I think it all left us pretty like, what the, what the fuck is going on? Like, right. this is wild. This is a wild ride. <laughs> um, so without further ado, let's hit, hit that clip real quick, Nine. You want to hit it? Let me hit it. Yeah. It's time to go. No. What do you mean, no? I don't know. No. <laughs> You're joking? Why would I joke about that? Because it's an outlandish thing to do. I'm serious. We're the same. I respect and appreciate that, but I do just think that we can talk about this. And later. I'm saying that you need the opportunity to get to know me, to understand the magic that is me. I know. I'm explaining that I will <laughs> give you that opportunity. Okay. I well, can't go we are, too far into it. I can't go okay. too far into it. but We are getting uh, that opportunity now for her to show her magic. Uh, you've seen her on Dave, you know her, you love her. It is Tanae Intriago. I hopefully said the last name right because I that's it. AKA Pickle Bitch, right there. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tanae, how are you doing, ma'am? It's so great to have you here. I think we're all excited in our, our own ways. And a lot of them are going to, we're just going to have a lot of questions for you today. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to answer them all. Um, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. You know, I'm just um, ready for the year to end and for a new one to begin. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 As an actor, it's been a crazy year for you. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, that makes it seem like it's been bad, but oh yeah, it's been bad if you're in <laughs> Hollywood. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, it's just slow. It's just a little slow, you know? I'm ready to get yeah. things moving. That's it. Right. Tanae, Tanae, how's, how, how's your holiday season been kicking off so far? Is is that a thing that you, you do the whole Thanksgiving thing? I don't do Christmas Thanksgiving. Holidays? Okay. I don't do Thanksgiving. Um, I have a child. He's eight. Mm. Um, so we stay away from that, that moment in time. Um, but we do Christmas, so that's coming around and I live in new Orleans. And so it's always like really busy around this time. And it's kind of magical cause it's the weather isn't like, you know, the devil's armpit. It's pretty right. Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm in, so I'm, in, I'm in Austin, Texas. So I know all about, Oh my God. Amazing. I've never been, I've always wanted to go um, to, get out eat, to eat the food. I just want to go I'm and eat food there. Come on down. We'll, we'll eat all the food. To, maybe, oh we'll, my God, let's we'll do trip. it. We'll get Terry out here. Terry's, Terry lived here for a long time. What? He's going to be moving here. So you know what? Austin's the place to be. Yes. What? You are? That's amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. Next year's, I'm, I'm hoping. You're going to be uh, close to each other. That's so <laughs> We're already so codependent. It's going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. But yeah, that's, that's okay. It sounds good. What is your, yeah. what, what's your, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh my God. I knew we'd have some hard questions for you. I already oh. knew. That. Okay. It's tied. Okay. The holiday. Yes. Okay. That's a great one. That's so a great one. I feel like Jack Black is like my long lost dad. Mm, okay. Um, we'll get a DNA and, test. Too. Yeah, I know. Mm. Um, and then. My my second favorite Christmas movie is probably okay. It's tied between either The Family Stone or Nightmare Before Christmas. Those two, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm these, a homosexual. These are great answers. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, should that be your like little byline then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm no homosexual. pun intended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man! All right, Tanae, Before we start with, I, we have all the Dave questions. Give us a rundown on acting. How you got started? What? When you got started? All how? How did all this come to be? How did Tanae end up on our screen here today? How about oh my that? Gosh. Mm -hmm. I was um, birthed from a rhino. I'm just kidding. Mm. I, um, you could have convinced me. A rhino's by ass. Uh, I. <laughs> I started acting um, professionally in 2012. It's when I okay. moved to New Orleans. Um, I joined a little acting class here in town, got a little agent, my first audition ever I, I booked. And so just slowly been like knocking it down, like, you know, just growing my career here in New Orleans. Um, and then I would like randomly go to LA and, um, but it didn't start I didn't start like booking like guest stars on TV um, or bigger roles um, until about 2017. So I was hustling for a good five years or so post mm. moving here. Um, and the, that show that like kind of got me a little bit, uh, just made me a little more sparkly, I guess, in the eyes of Hollywood was this show called Claws on TNT. Okay. Um, and okay. then I got a manager out of that. And so then I just started auditioning for bigger stuff. And then in 2018, I um, became a series regular on this show called Overthinking with Cat and June. Did the whole Law and Order SVU thing. Oh, um, man. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and then I did Castle Rock season two for the whole year in 2019. And then COVID. And then COVID. Right, right. And then oh, Dave man. was, and then I did this show FBI guest star. That was my first um, booking right like after COVID. And then it was Dave. Yeah. Wow. A lot All of right. times, I know. And then before acting, I played basketball for 13 years. I thought I was going to be wow. the shortest woman in the WNBA. Yeah, that was my You dream. still could have been. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, how tall are you? I'm 4'11". 411. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. We're like walking in with you and Dave, and I was like, uh, Dave is pretty tall, but I can't tell if she's just like I'm uh. I'm yeah, I'm like a small, small, small little guy. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. it, like is it um you run but into I'm like scrappy. problems like 
I, I believe that. Holy shit. Oh, we've seen um, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, um, but is it like, uh, do you run into problems like when filming, like uh, with framing people? Oh, hell yeah. Also, for uh, every audition I ever get, I lie that I'm taller. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, okay. there's no what way. Do you, you tell you're like I'm six foot. Yeah, I'm yeah. like I, 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 I usually do five foot, and if I'm feeling like real frisky, I say five one. Okay. Um, yeah. But it's four eleven. I'm under yeah. five. You, I'm noticeably <laughs> under five feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get away with five, I mean, and when I got looking at this, done, okay. they were like, nah, "You short bitch. You're yeah, how, how tall are you actually?" I'm like five. <laughs> I know it's impossible, but you know what? I own it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you can do is looking at this poster, like you, you know. Oh yeah. There's that. There's that height difference right there. Yeah, and Alexia's like Alexia's like she's five seven, five eight. Okay. Mother. Yeah, and I'm on an Apple box for that. Are you serious? Yeah. Yep. Sure. Okay. Anyone who hasn't seen Overthinking, it's really good. It is. I I saw that a few years ago, and what? Oh my yeah, gosh! It's just one of those quirky little shows that you kind of identify with if you're just not like trying to be hyper normal all the time. Yeah, mm. it's a pretty neurodivergent show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it just it feels good to see more of that representation out there. Of just like. People are quirky and they get to just be who they are, and it doesn't always yeah. work out. But yeah, I love that show for that reason too. And you hear all of their inner thoughts, mm-hmm. so which is like it's cool. You you get to hear and also see the visualization of someone's inner monologue in that show, which is yeah. cool. Aw, we got canceled though. Thanks for bringing it up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't so talk wait, about it. You can blame on. Yeah, it was it was like when YouTube was trying to do the like pr- the their own streaming network. Oh, okay, so it's yeah, still so available we were on like, YouTube. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Okay, um, so I can check oh, wow. it out. Like, okay, nice. Um, it it was like the same time as like Cobra Kai, like we were doing it next to Cobra. Oh Kai. yeah. Um, okay. And then Awesomeness TV produced it, and so and they did Pen Fifteen. So we were like all in the. Oh, that same, same di- world. Ta- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah interesting well everybody go go watch it but don't go watch it now but go watch it after this you can yeah go after through. please yes yeah, go yeah. go do that uh okay so that brings us that kind of catches us up to now i we all we all want the daves okay how did dave come about and and yeah. how was all because obviously you're on they, they shoot it in all cars you know they shoot uh season sometimes different crazy orders yada but you're in the first episode yeah you're in yeah, you're in the last episode. About that. Yeah. So like walk us through. You get the call, you get the email. How did this how did this come into fruition? It was not it was nuts. Um I, I was in LA dog sitting um for my friends mm. just to like get away for a second. Um and while she was in Burning Man. She's a white girl. Oh, we wow. love her. Okay, we love her. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, we didn't get, she didn't get stuck in the mud. No, this was, this was 2022, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burning right, Man, right. not 2023. Um, and I was there dog sitting and I got the audition from um it was it wasn't even something I was pitched for. This casting director named Wendy O'Brien, who I owe everything to, um, she thought I'd be right for it, so she asked me to tape. So I sent in an audition. Um, and then the next day I found out I got it while I was there. Wow. Um, they said it was possible that I would come back, but that wasn't promised. They were like really playing it down. And so I was like, <laughs> cool. And so all that I had was the scene in which is in the, can I like say what? The y- first yeah. We, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, like when Bella makes the bust of Dave, like that, right. that was the whole thing. And. Um, I had like another order. Yeah. Okay. So that it was the first day of shooting season three for everybody. (laughs) So wild. The quirkiness you bring to this character, I think, is it's it's hilarious because just the manner you could watch this without we're watching this without sound and just the (laughs) the little quirky mannerisms are hilarious. Oh my god. 
that's so wild. I like don't even know who that person is anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, and so I got it and then I was like, okay, cool. I might, I might come back. That'll be awesome. Right. Um, but I wasn't like baking on it. I had a great time with Dave cause we just improvised that entire scene. Oh, that's really? Yeah. What? Um, yeah. And it was just, we had a lot of chemistry and, um, I don't know. It's, it's hard going in as a guest actor for the third season of a show on their first day of shooting the third season. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. everyone is, is stressed. Everyone's also like, hasn't seen each other in a while. So they want to like right. reconnect and here you are. And like, I'm a no name or, you know, at least before Dave, I was a no name actor. So it's that like, it's kind of weird and like opportunistic to be like, hey, um, yeah, I'm Sinead guys. Uh, thanks for having me on your show, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but Dave and I hit it off. It was like super, like outside of the scene, it was like very like sibling energy. Nice. Um, and no, he's awesome. He's truly one of the best, most special people. Um, and then, so I just was chilling and then like a week and a half before Thanksgiving. No. Yes. Uh, yeah. Before Thanksgiving, 2022. Okay. I get a call from a producer on, um, Dave and he's like, uh, are you sitting down? And I was like, I, I can't be. Yeah, um, yeah, that's he right. Like, <laughs> um, he was like, well, you know, Dave loves you. So he's going to write you. He like they wrote you into the, the finale as like his stalker. And I already knew she because of the character breakdown in the audition that like mm. that's who she was. Um, possibly, definitely if she was coming back in the finale. And he was like, so you're coming back. Dave's obsessed. Um, we want you here. Um, The thing is, is you um, are, it's just going to be you, Dave, and Brad Pitt. No. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought you said Brad Pitt. I'm sitting down now, yeah. Yeah. Um, And he was like, so I'm calling you because you have to sign, um, like, a a nudity writer because you're going to, they're going to watch you pee. Yeah. And so I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'm interested to see like where this is and um, what the heck. And then, yeah, a week later I was there. Oh, there he is. Uncle Brad. Oh man. Um, I have so many, I have so many more follow-up questions. But- I know. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. And then I was there a week and a half later and I was there for three ish weeks shooting the finale okay so this took three weeks wow yeah it was it was hard i was there like it wasn't every day but i was there in los angeles for three weeks because brad was doing babylon press at the same time Mm. okay so we had to like work around like that schedule schedule. and it was a mostly a night shoot so it was Mm, a lot of yeah. yeah sleeping waiting sleeping you know right yeah yeah Wow. I know. Okay. Thank you, Wendy O'Brien. I cannot shout outs to Wendy O'Brien. I don't yeah. know where she where she's at right now. She's in but LA. We're gonna shut her up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm so I'm forever <laughs> Were were you before we get to the Brad Pitt question, were you already a, a fan of Lil Dicky? Did you listen to his music? Had you seen Dave before? Anything like that? Never in my life. Okay, next Hello. question. All right. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, little who? <laughs> um, One of my best friends helped me tape the audition. Um, her name's Kelly Murtaugh. And she was like, Tinny, you know this is like the best show on FX right now. And mm-hmm. I was like, I've literally never heard of this show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of glad. I'm on transparently, I'm kind of glad that I didn't know because then I would have put so much pressure on myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, I that's know. okay. Because y'all, my audition is weird. It is. Nice. Oh my gosh, do you still have the tapes? Oh yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. I save all my auditions. I would love. <laughs> is, is that something that you would have? Uh, oh, I'll that? send to y'all. I'll send to y'all. Okay, yeah, y'all. that'd be yeah, awesome. Maybe we can like clip. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, we need oh, the footage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's awesome. nuts. nuts. Um, we need we need the documents. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, backstage, you're mentioning um, Atlanta. So, are, did you know the show Atlanta, or do you? Yes, huge fan. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> or are we? No, no, no like, that's how we got our start was Atlanta. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. In, I mean, the first video that I ever did was actually called Dave versus Atlanta. So, yeah. What a We're all Atlanta fans. Fucking show. Yeah. That show is so special. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, uh, uh, it, you know what? It's funny because your character would have actually done very well on Fit Atlanta. great oh, on yeah. that show. Same exact right. character. <laughs> would have been great on Atlanta. Um, I did want to say, um, let me like just show this clip right here. Because when you first appeared on the uh, premiere, season three premiere, I was so sure that you would be back. And it was just only because of this little, like, little moment here. Because you give him the bust of yes. his head. <laughs> And in day fashion, he just throws it in the trash, chucks it. I mean, he tries to throw it in the trash. Has three three pointer. But can I like, can I give you some intel? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Um. So they actually filmed me watching him here. I was going to say oh! this is yeah. exactly what I was thinking. I was like, "There's no way the pan the camera is not going to pan, and it's going to be you like seeing yeah. him do that." Oh yeah, no, they 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 filmed me <laughs> watching him, and then he thinks he sees me, and mm. then we like, and then he misses me. But yeah, oh. I like fully followed him out, and they like they like oh, had okay. they followed me to him and everything. But no, they cut it, and I I'm sure they cut it because they didn't want to give anything away, you know. Okay, but yeah, good hunt, my yeah. dude. That's hilarious yeah. because I was like, there. How is it possible that they did not set that up or like you know? It just seems like such a typical Dave thing to do yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this show. But, so he would but be I almost, like, oh, I just, uh, you know, try I almost yeah, love yeah. the the ambiguousness of the fact that they left it out because mm -hmm. when you see her sort of switch, you're not really sure what the motivation is besides just like she's like, I'm special, I'm I'm you, mm -hmm. Dave. Like, and she's just this sort of super fan slash stalker. But like, had you had you gotten the rest of that, it could have been like, oh, but she's also mad because he tried to, you know, three point her her cement buzz, the, the buzz <laughs> yeah. inside of the trash can. Like, bro, of course she's gonna be mad. So like, yeah. the, the fact they left that out and then left it a bit more ambiguous, and you're just like, this person's crazy, and I don't really know why, and I'm <laughs> right. kind of here for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which kind yeah. of wants you to know, my biggest question: like, where did you draw? from to, to get that crazy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, i honestly i just it is the easiest like playing characters like that um because that's usually that's like my shtick like people be hiring me as the like unwell person you know <laughs> um and i think one i think it's because i'm unassuming like i'm little you know this cute little thing um oh, but man. i i with characters like that it's like so easy to play like and i don't mean as as far as like <laughs> it's so easy for me to do this like i mean like to play to actually enjoy it and yeah. like indulge in the fun of it mm -hmm. it's so off the cuff and it's so unhinged that i'm it's so it's so like i'm so willing to go there and like be yeah. floppy about it because it there there's no right way that those people look um and it did yeah look like as far as like drawing from somewhere i don't know trauma yeah. trauma maybe i don't know yeah <laughs> there every time. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it did look like you were having a bunch of fun and you mentioned yeah. that like uh one of your previous scenes were well, it was completely improv or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, was there a lot of improv going on in the finale too, the or was it a lot time. more tight and neat? Okay. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. The um most of the when it pans out from the scene where Dave's like, I think you should go, and Bella's like, No, I don't yeah. know. When right. it pans out and it's the two shot, uh -huh. that's just me and Dave riffing. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I could just play just a little bit more of that. Yeah, give, give us like 10, 15 seconds of this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see here. Oh, okay, so we get to the get to the two shot. 
asking absolutely nothing, though. How could you're you just possibly like, make that assumption? Because there's nobody here, and you're just by yourself. That's what I did my best work. <laughs> I don't believe you. Wow. Oh, it was. At, it would be after this. Okay. No, here it was here. Yeah, yeah like when it was here too. Oh, okay, okay. And it's just like you're just coming up with reasons to just intrude on his space. Exactly. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. That it's is so, so funny. Fun. That then, is like, hilarious. Most of the peeing scene is improvised too. Okay, like, okay. So we go so, to the peeing scene. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll, we'll go there. So like. The, the two things that were like told to you is Brad Pitt and you got to pee. And so we're getting right into pee right now before yeah. Brad Pitt, which I think that's kind of appropriate. I'll hear a yeah. pee story. So like, what about this? They wanted you to pee on screen. This is real. I know. Well, so that is not real. It's a rig. But they were so worried that yeah. my my uh, so my vagina that. would be on display that they were like, mm. "You've got to sign this nudity right. You've got to mm. you got to give us permission <laughs> just in case a lip slips." You know what I'm saying? And it, it just <laughs> it uh, so I did, but obviously, like you can't see anything. I'm wearing like underwear and then mm -hmm. a doubled underwear, and then I pull it down. But it was like a. It was a rig connected to like an oxygen tank with like CO2 and they were like pumping it behind me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How yeah. hilarious. Yeah. How um, to like make it. And it was going so, so hard. Like the, the pressure of the piss was <laughs> okay. so hard and, and it was not looking believable. And finally I was like, what if I just say I've been holding it? Yeah. All day. Yeah. All day. That would that would make someone piss real right. hard and fast. Yeah. Right. Um, and so that that's what made it work, I think. Yeah. Uh, and it made it funnier too. Yeah. Like it yeah. sold the comedic <laughs> effect. Cause like if you didn't set that up, I'm like, this is just goofy for being goofy, but like with that line, it's, it's like I've been it. holding it, it all day. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, okay. so, like it sets you up. It's like, well, I better see some uh, some holding it in pee, and then you got it. We got yeah. it. Yeah. Should, should I play yeah, the clip? Exactly. Should I play the clip? I'm gonna play the clip. Yeah, do what you can. Do what you can. It's struggle with where's the sound? We got sound on. <laughs> you did this, okay? <laughs> you guys, first of all, you've been holding this this whole time. Okay. Look at it. Yeah. Don't look at me. Don't look. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have me. so many I have so many bloopers. Oh so my many God. bloopers Gosh. of Brad laughing during that part every time I was saying, <laughs> Don't look, look, don't look, look. Uh wow. It was like you look at the camp. P, don't look at me. Yeah. Um wow. how, how many uh, takes did that take? Right. Yeah. yeah. It was two. Thank Only two because okay. of the rig, so like it was like our life yeah. depended on it, you know. <laughs> yeah. There's someone that like just gets the mop and just like, all right, let's... well, it was onto a rug, so they would okay. just had the same rug and then they would switch out the rug. Oh, okay, all yeah, right. yeah, Looks yeah. Harder, They're like, we only bought two rugs, we only get exactly. Two rugs. Like, and it was so <laughs> hard, it was so hard, it was so Shout hard out to the, film age studios and those elements. Um, um, and also, guys, uh, you know, for everyone who's watching, just leave a comment if you have any questions about uh, the show um, that you want to uh, ask Tanae about. Um, just let us know. Just to, uh, show some love in the comments. Shout them out there. Just shout them out, out there. there. Shout out all the other questions. <laughs> uh, all right. So Brad Pitt, though. Brad freaking Pitt. The, yeah, I, I found out this year, I'll be honest. Not that I ha I have a, a a guy crush on Brad Pitt, but that I just love Brad Pitt movies. I wouldn't. I was like a trend. You did you know? It was just I I like I was like I love me some Brad Pitt. Like I realized it this year though, and I was like, why do I why do I love all these movies with Brad Pitt? And I'm like, oh, I secretly I love I love Brad Pitt. I think he's yeah. amazing. Okay, he is. so I, as a huge Brad Pitt fan, tell me, give me, give us all the juicy scoop. How was oh, it? God. How was <laughs> Oh. He's truly like, you know, you you get scared um, 
working with actors who have done it for so long because you're like are they going to be grumpy are they going to be jaded are they going to be exhausted because they're also doing other things which he was um but i mean this man is was at the time 58 years old <laughs> walking up with a bucket hat and cargo pants like <laughs> like it was 2003 and i was like i cannot like i I looked at him and I said, have you seen yourself? Um, and he was like, what? What do you mean? And I'm like, you, you're not a real person. Like, you know, um, but he was truly like the most funny, kind. Um, wh one thing that like majorly sticks out for me is um, my first day on set for the finale was the scene where um, Bella is putting the plaster on Dickie's dick. Um, and mm -hmm. Brad's like up in the top of the shower. Oh. Yeah. And so he comes to set and poor guy, he has to like get escorted with like thousands of umbrellas and be like covered and um, no one can see him, you know? And um, I overhear him like in the distance being like, like saying hi to everybody because everyone's like, whoa, Brad Pitt's here. And all I hear him say is, hey, it's so nice to meet everyone. Um, Before I meet anybody else, I want to meet the actor playing Bella. Uh, I want to make sure like we introduce each ourselves to each other. That is so he nice. Came, and he like gave me a big hug, um, asked for a hug first before he hugged wow. me. Wow. You know, yeah. Boner Town, USA. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go there, yeah. in there. Population yeah. us. Population. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, consent. I'm here for it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. And so then I, it truly was like going to summer camp with one of, like, the greats every day. Um, and what was really also refreshing about him is that he still genuinely loves what he does mm -hmm. and is so excited to be there and play and um he had so many cool stories about hollywood and his younger mm. years he's been stalked many times wow yeah um, i was wondering like yeah. <laughs> you, you so kinda... like he got he told me some stories and i was yeah. just like <laughs> yo um <it's laughs> you just yo just yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah he was the sweetest he had um his own personal hair and makeup artist that came who's like the famous G Black, she's like big time, does like almost every Coen Brothers movie. Um, mm -hmm. and I bonded with her. It was just he's just so inviting. And um it's funny though, because like a lot of people were asking me if I was gonna be nervous working with him, and I was not. I was so ready. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was so so ready to um get my moment you know mm -hmm. i was so ready i've been working so hard and i knew that um this is the caliber of like work i want to be doing i want to be working with the people i look up to like i want mm -hmm. those people to be my peers and yeah. i want to be challenged by that and um yeah so it was he's truly a very special human and like doesn't take himself seriously like there's yeah. risks like when bella has the gun to his head uh -huh. and trying to get him canceled like we were riffing there were so many times where i was like saying shit to him like i called him bradley bitch and like, like <laughs> so many things <laughs> i was calling oh him so gosh. many names and he at one point he was like did angelina put you up to this like it was oh my <laughs> god wild it was what? so good wow. <laughs> that is crazy let me play this clip let me play the clip um okay you know what you're talking about now we're gonna get some dirt on you okay do something that'll get you canceled i don't adhere to those types of social structures so i don't really know okay. So I, okay i once knew this guy a white guy he said he grew up in china and so we talked like that like that <laughs> fun of the way he talked okay what accent did he do rad you know like the like the china like, like what? Like, you know. Do the accent. No. Just say it. He's a white Chinese. No. Now. There's no way. I'm... Do the accent. No. <laughs> Bro. 
I can't. I have so many bloopers of him. He, there were so many times he felt so bad even doing an imitation of it. And, yeah. And he was he would like hold the gun <laughs> to his head. <laughs> Uh, oh my so funny. god so funny um, and thanks for commenting uh nick panzig um sorry if i pronounced that crazily um but today loved you and dave keep up the great work yeah, absolutely absolutely but i am still surprised that you weren't um even a little bit like was it a situation like afterwards after the shoot you were like holy shit i just you know, held a gun Brad and pissed Pitt. in front of Brad Pitt. Yeah. No, I, I know. I don't. I hope it doesn't come off as pompous or like cocky. Um, I really was not nervous. I just. That's awesome. I am filled with like a lot of pride for myself in the work that I do. And um, I love what I do very much. And um, mostly I just have a lot of I just had a lot of gratitude. Like I was yeah. just so grateful um that someone was inviting me to participate uh because there's so many good actors out there um and famous ones they could have really gotten somebody way more well known than me and they chose me you know um and yeah i i just it yeah i never was was nervous i just was ready mm, that's amazing mm. um did you also um get a chance to meet rachel mcgavin yes yeah no like, way um so the um the day the day that like it's the rich the mr mcadams music video shoot yeah um they were placing me in places like behind the scenes so you could maybe see bella looking oh at Dave. yeah because um, i remember they didn't, use, they didn't use any of that um but yeah. i got to meet her yeah, it was really weird to see my name. That that is that's the thing I will say. Seeing my name on the call sheet right next mm. to Brad Pitt and Rachel McAdams, yeah. I was like, whoa, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. That must um, be she is the sweetest. I only got to see her um, right after this this shoot. Um, and uh, house in a bed, notebook, even had a little bit of red. I don't know why I'm telling you about your hair. You would know best. You was there at your hair, girl. Like a best suck dick, not suck dick like a head. I'm just bad at doing this shit. Girl, just let me prove that I'm him. Heard you're five foot four. I bet you had a I take your name, girl, fast. It's insanely far fetched. I ain't playing why you think I've been rapping to be Mr. McAdam. Say, yeah, it's a little bop. That song's a bop, right? That there. is a bop. So Y'all, he wrote that. <laughs> He wrote that the day before. What? Uh, yeah. What? That's he crazy. Insane. No. He, he wrote that. He wrote it. that the day before, and he wrote Robin song like the day before. He's That's crazy. Not, like he's wow. so, so it just is living in his head at all times. He's so amazing. Um, but yeah, she's she's the bomb. She was so happy to be there. Um, a lot of people are huge fans of the show. I, you know, I did yeah. not know about it, but mm -hmm. a lot of famous people, <laughs> um, a lot of celebrities, and she is um, really short and tiny, and I didn't anticipate it. And um, yeah. she knew my name, but like before, what? yeah, it's just nice. like a pro. Happy to be there, and it was funny because you know, like Brad and Rachel on the show have this like rapport, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They have that moment, and that was happening outside of yeah they were like oh my god it's so good to see you it's been so long you know it was like actually happening yeah outside of shooting yeah it's cute meta uh, that's awesome yeah, yeah. Meta. facts big facts uh kirsten <laughs> producer t what what questions you got for Tane over here i got excited i was um, gonna say so if you got the chance would you want bella to go back on dave oh yeah Keep stalking. Yeah. I have I have a dream. I have a fantasy. Okay. I have a deep longing for them to visit Bella in jail. Mm. I really want that to happen. <sighs> I really want it to happen. A girl can dream. A girl yeah. can dream. I really, really want it to happen. I think it should. They should totally make that happen. That would just. How was y'all? How how did you think? Do you think that, like, were you cheering when the the sex doll was thrown on Sabella? I was. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, even when the sex doll was like brought up, because that's just been right. a long yeah. running like gag in yeah, Wave. a through line. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a through line. I'm like, I okay, did not so know that that was going to be the che Chekhov's gun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, did not, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Um, Drew says, "Hey everyone, Tanae, you killed your role. Very believable and immersive." Oh, yeah, absolutely. You. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think to 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 Kirsten's question earlier about like was what was inspiration behind like the character or like anything you would have drawn from, I would have for sure thought like uh Kathy Bates and like misery type vibes. Oh like you know oh, what I yeah. mean? Like just like yeah. real fangirl, super fangirled out, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, so funny okay. that you referenced that because I was on Castle Rock and that's the whole premise of that right. season. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, but I, yeah, I, um, I was just playing. Um, <laughs> I just was playing around, you know? <laughs> I, um, I just try, I try to fight against the stereotype of what a sort of psychopathic person might seem like or sociopathic mm -hmm. person. And I try to make them as lovable as possible. That's literally mm -hmm. all I try to do is like, mm -hmm. how can I be so despicable? And yet you can't help mm -hmm. but love me, baby. You know what I'm saying? You can't <laughs> help it. <laughs> um, yeah. Season. That's, that's what I tried to do. I'm just like, I want people to feel bad for her, even though it's messed up to want that. I just, the and here's conundrum. the thing, the, the character of Bella does it so well because even Gate is like, nah, Bella's cool. Bella, we're hanging out with Bella. Bella vibing. Bella yeah. over here just, he's so into it because he doesn't know his best friends are like his best friend and Brad Pitt are being like held hostage essentially. No. Yeah. And also Gate is so funny. Gate believes it. Right. Oh. Did we lose um, her? What is oh, happening? Okay. okay. May come back. Good, you know, sometimes good. your child is just FaceTiming you from his dad's. <laughs> oh, I, it's so funny happening. because I'm going to play this Can you hear me? Clip. Am I good still? Yeah, you're yeah, good. You're, you're so good. good. Yeah, it's so funny. You're talking about your kid because, uh, oh, you can't hear us. Uh, you can't hear us. Did we get muted somehow? Let us know. Is, is it? Oh, re-log in. I would say re-log in today. She can't, she can't hear us. She can't. She doesn't know. Uh, Here, I'm going to remove her, and then I'm going to add her back to the stage. Does that work at all? No? Uh, okay, just a little technical difficulties. I'm just going to play this clip. Um, private chatter. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. You do not understand the beast you're dealing with. This is not a rational human being. I don't know about kids though, because they're like kind of ungrateful. So, you know, and so I'm not, yeah. I'll do anything for my mom. Yeah, people say that, but what have you actually really done for her? I'm curious, actually. She only understands force. <laughs> <laughs> she only understands force. Guys, we are in the midst. Uh, just had a little bit of technical difficulty. Oh my can God, I'm so now? sorry. I can hear you now. Oh, right. oh no, that's perfect. <laughs> Wow. Um, this is why you use contraceptives, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I'm kidding. And that's right been here. it from today. Thank you so much, oh, today. Okay, well, <laughs> it's it. it. so funny because you're just talking about um, your kid, and then I'm pulling up this scene right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know about kids though. So, you're like kind of ungrateful, so you know. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, people say that, but what have you actually really done for her? I'm curious, actually. She only understands force. <laughs> force on her ass, Dave. Put that oh ass on her ass, Dave. Force on her ass. I, I think he improvised that. Yeah. I think he didn't. I think the line was. She's trying to whatever force, and then he added that. Uh, that okay. whole him in the booth the entire time uh -huh. is, is is improv is improv. Wow! Little song like and him, him, the song. Oh my gosh! Okay. He made no. it up on the spot. It's so move. funny. It's so we funny. gotta move. Get in the game. <laughs> Listen to me. We have to do what we have to do <laughs> to rid ourselves of all this fear. <laughs> The dance, the dance, the dance. First of all, Dave's just like, "Well, what do you mean?" I'm sorry, when I, <laughs> I, like, when I first on. saw that episode, I could not wait to talk about you doing the 
the weird like <laughs> arm dance thing. Yeah, is that I'm your sorry. normal dance? Can we get one just for the uh, just for the uh, just yeah. for the fans? Well, let's uh, let's all do it with tonight. Oh God, it's so gross. I yeah. look unwell doing that. <laughs> like the hooded eye, like stare while you're doing it too. It's perfect. Oh, I it's know. Beautiful. And yeah. it was like two in the morning too. I was like, <laughs> you're loopy, honked. Uh, yeah. Oh okay. God. Yeah. Why we have a question go? from Film Age. It looks like a uh, big fan since Castle Rock. Is there a genre you love working in, and which one are you itching to work in? Oh my god, mm. I love the horror genre. Love, love, love. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm ready to do a good old rom com. Okay. Okay. Um, but like, not being the quirky best friend, actually being the one that's like desired. Okay. You know, I mean, oh, Brad Pitt. More, from, more from like an egotistical standpoint, because mm. I'm single. I'm I want a catharsis, okay? Um, and uh, or, um, or she is single. Everybody I, out there, I am single. Single. Yep. Ready to mingle. Um, and and she's a pickle bitch. So if you're a pickle, a pickle bitch, bitch out there, you can do with that information what you will. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I um, yeah, I. I would like to do that. And then also, like, a, a, it's weird. I feel like A24 is not a genre, but I would love to be in an A24. Yes, but no. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes, but no. Yeah. All their movies you know what I mean? So hard, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Of film, so. yeah. Also, I just saw Saltburn, and it, like. Yeah. yeah. I, that's, okay, that's yeah. I've been wanting to see that. It's got uh, so Timothee. Timothy in it? No, it was does that, not. It does not. It not no, no. 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 Barry, Keegan. Barry Keegan. Barry Keegan. Barry, Barry Keegan, Keegan, bro. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. He came to a fantastic myself. fest. He likes to shoot guns. A lot of celebrities like to shoot guns for a So, Barry, time. yeah, I heard that's what you were telling me that year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it's got Barry, Jacob, Lordy, uh, who was in Rosamund Victoria. Pike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rosen Pike. So good. Rosen so like Oliver. something like that where it's you could almost be a genre, but then it's just like maybe an effed up thriller. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just saying I've never seen A24 produce a comedy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you know, like a rom com. I love it. I mean it'll be a rom com <laughs> with a crazy twist to it. All kind of are. What's that? Yeah. I mean, it just depends what you define as a comedy. Some no, them. having comedy in it is not the same as it being like a half comedy. baked or something. Yeah, well, that was the cool thing about the finale of David. Is it kind of right genre? Yeah, yeah, like lines. And I could not believe the amount of things I got to do that were funny and scary. And then, like you know, there is a horror element in the fact that like she's chasing them in the house and like. Yeah, that's you know a horror. <laughs> it was very and, creepy. Um, going on there. Yeah, or like Bella's moment with the sex doll, like when she's in the bathroom yeah. and she yeah. just has like the stare off with it. That's creepy yeah. as fuck. Then the um, cement is just like kind of flooding all. There's around. a lot yeah, of it's like, so it's gross. So I had weird. that plaster <laughs> in my ears for weeks. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um. So we, since we were like breaking down Dave, we always had this little segment where we would play this from our special friend Gata, uh <laughs> from for Money Blake. Was major, it? major shout out for the homie Blake, man, an unfiltered Bachelor <laughs> podcast. That's what's up, man. Money Blake Weather. If you could just tell oh, people, oh my god, you know the show. I'm gonna tell people right now that you fucking awesome, man. What's up, bro? It's Gata. <laughs> oh my god! Gata cameo. We had a cameo. We had a cameo. <laughs> had a cameo yeah. <laughs> There's I a whole story Gata. behind that. Yeah, I paid ten dollars for that on Cameo in 2020, and now his cameos are like they're not ten dollars. Three hundred dollars. They are expensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he is an angel on this earth, and we don't deserve him. He's the sweetest person. He like read at. He didn't retweet it. He like liked one of my promos for our Dave like run, <laughs> and then like <laughs> he, he's left yeah, me on comments. He was like, "That's what's up," and I was like, "Oh shit!" I don't think like, he's the one who checks his Instagram. If I'm being honest with you, Terry, I'm so sorry. Terry. 
he, he, yeah, yeah, because he'll like stuff that we'll post, yeah. but like I'll send him a couple messages and they've unfortunately yeah. said the red. Yeah, he's kind of so, got like an entourage of people always helping him. Yeah. Um, but yeah. we never know. We we always assume like we're really shocked when people actually read their Instagram because we right. assume, like <laughs> nobody reads their things and it's just like a bot just checking it or an assistant. Yeah. Maybe. So every time we get somebody to check it, it's just like. I was telling them earlier, I was like, this is such the biggest dopamine rush every time somebody <laughs> has I know. Yeah. I, I love my job so much. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Gaina is so sweet. On set, like, we were sitting, because we didn't get to work together a lot except for the last... A um, little bit, yeah. That was the last day, was that day mm. of us mm. together. Um, and he, my dog died that day. Oh, um, nice. And so, like, it was such a weird day. Um, actually, it, it that that means it's a day, like, it's a year to the date today, because my oh, dog died wow. a year to the date. Damn. Yeah. And um, and he was just so kind, and he was like, we would like we were getting to know each other, and then when he um was like touched by like a part of my life story, he'd be like, man, today. You're gonna pay your bills. <laughs> like, he was just like he was just so like you're gonna pay your bills one day, and it was just the sweetest, kindest. Mm-hmm. That is that is super sweet. Gata yeah. is that you awesome. yeah. Gata, Gata just seemed yeah he seems incredible. We talked we had a uh, Gina Hecton. Who played oh, yeah. Dave's mom? Um, I, I we had She's her on. So sweet. I didn't get to meet her at all, but she commented on my Instagram post. Oh, oh yeah, sweet. she's she, she's an amazingly just like awesome lady to talk to. She's super kind, and she gave us like nothing but the best Gata stories. She's like this guy. I thought he was an actor for like ever, and like he wasn't. And no, he like, was Dave's. He was really Dave's hype man. Dave's hype man, yeah. Cool. Facts. Yeah. Which is awesome. How he put it on. Um, I wanted to play another clip here because it's just like the crescendo to this whole big craziness that's going on in the episode. And that's when you shoot <laughs> with the crossbow. <laughs> Why the fuck you let her in here? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Just amazing. Oh god. That crossbow was so heavy. It was so heavy. Yeah, it looks like as big as you are. Yeah, it was. It was as big as me. (laughs) And anytime I had to hold a weapon in that show, I was like having a panic attack about it. I was so scared. I mean, because none of them were real. Um, all of them were props. None of it was all fake rubber, stupid stuff, but it was like so scary like the concept i couldn't separate it i'm like this is supposed to be real so it must be you know and i couldn't um but yeah that shit was heavy and i had bruises i had like bruises from um, (laughs) holding it on my shoulder yeah yeah yeah. wow Uh, let's see here what was it like to shoot brad um well i shot his stunt double so i didn't technically shoot him what was it like to shoot a stunt double um, honestly, <laughs> wait, I don't even think I should say this. Let's do it. Let, yeah, that means you, you should you do like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, there's a place for everyone in this world. Okay. I believe that deeply okay. in my soul. Okay. But, you know, anyone who could play Brad Pitt's stunt double probably like looks like they are in a cult. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. and And might be. Yeah, right. Yeah. So right. those were the the vibes. So uh, <laughs> you know. Um, you're like, I got I gotta shoot you. That just yeah, just I got, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You, you I'm gotta gonna go shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so, it was just he was just kind of like bro and like had that like LA vibe that I don't love. 
Mm. Um, but he was so kind and nice and he was a great stunt double. He kept Brad safe. Um, and the stunt coordinator on the show was amazing. Um, and so wait, so, it was an actual real crossbow you shot somebody in a targeted place with? No, he had the arrow already like attached to him. Uh, yes, and okay. I did the motion of it, and so he just, he just yeah, and then did they the... did like special effects that went, you know, <laughs> they just went, call went, me Cupid, baby. Just call me yeah. Cupid. You shoot you know? all kind of arrows. Yeah, I, I yeah. love it. I want to give a little announcement. Sorry for everybody. We did just get suspended for a little bit for playing a little bit of that uh, show. Um, but we're back live. Um, so <laughs> please stick with us. Uh, wow. We, we are back on it. Look, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll go easy on the clip. Um, <laughs> no more than go like two happy. seconds. Um, um, oh, we got some comments. Yeah, read off the comments. Yeah, a lot of love. A lot of love for great. Tonight. You definitely killed it. Aww, um, thank you. And also, as an actor from Film Age Studios, as an actor who's worked on a variety of sets, do you prefer the improv environment more than structured? I'd imagine an actor who's proud of their work finds some satisfaction <laughs> in memorizing a script. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's a good perspective. Um, I. If it's comedy, like improv all day, all day, um, and then when things um, have to, they, it doesn't lend, like, it, say it's like procedural, like a procedural drama, like, you've got to stick to the the script, and because it's so, like, time condensed, there's no, like, room for improvisation, um, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, I, I haven't, besides maybe Castle Rock and the procedural stuff that I've done, I haven't um, gotten, I haven't had the opportunity to be a, a main actor in something that is really structured, like mm -hmm. is really like tight to the script, like needs you, like the writers haven't been so married to the words that, you know. Um, so I'm interested to see how that makes me feel when the time comes, when I am, yeah. you know, in that A24 movie. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No. Good question, Phil Mage. Phil Mage. Yeah, that was um, awesome. And as we're um, getting to the end of this, it's already like this hour flew That's, right that by. That was the fastest by. hour of my freaking life. Flew <laughs> right by. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments. Um, again, we're back up and live. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions for Tanae here. Um, Kirsten, and producer also, P, any, any questions as we sort of round this out? I think I got a lot of mine in. Um, no question. It's just a funny story is that you should never watch Dave at the dentist's office because uh, <laughs> right after I'd asked you to be on the show, we like to go back and like rewatch, right. rewatch all our episodes, get prepared. And I was like, I had a dentist appointment and they like let you watch TV at the dentist. I'm like, OK, that's cool. I'm going to zone out and hyper focus and not, you know. You know, this person's all in my mouth. I got to, like, lose consciousness to separate myself oh my here. Mm -hmm. And so I'm watching Dave. I'm watching your episode. And at the same time, I start feeling, like, less movement going on in oh my, my mouth. God. And I look over to my right, and this woman is just... <laughs> <laughs> and, I am, and I just can't... I'm like, what do I do? I can't, like, snap at her and be like, hey, talk <laughs> to my teeth, please. But she is just going, like, she did it several times it wasn't just like one time it was wow. several times throughout this episode of her just pausing and just damn you got dentist wait, wait. Crazy. for clarification <laughs> it was it was the finale i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> whoa that is oh. wild okay um story time i am I, uh, <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm single. So, you know, some days <laughs> I, I meet people and this mm -hmm. particular person that I met wanted to watch the finale. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And, um, Hi. after, I, I will say after that, uh, they, they didn't want to see me again. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Or on the, on dating apps, like people will be like, Whoa, I can't believe I saw you pee in front of Brad Pitt before I ever got to meet you. Or like they'll <laughs> say something about Dave and I'm like, or they'll be like, So are you really that cuckoo? Or 
whatever. And I oh just, my gosh. I feel like because, that would work in your paper. And you're like, I'm an I actor. Because I played Bella, it's like I, I don't, I don't have a chance. I don't have a chance in hell. <laughs> all Everyone right. We need that. to settle this once and for all. Everybody who's watching out there, again, the pickle bitch is single. She is not her character, Bella. I am not. If I would say so myself, you seem like a catch. I think wow. everyone would agree. Everyone Thank would you. agree. And uh, but I was super uh, yes. scared to do this interview because. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow, so yeah. sorry. I'm just small. I'm so small, and um, <laughs> I have a lot of love to give in the world. I, I so also have a question about the finale, though. Um, okay. Hey, Drake. Drake was not really here. Was he? He's this there. is like a CGI Drake, right? No, that's a real Drake. That's a real Drake? How come it's it just looks not a so real, like... It's not a real Africa. At, yeah. Well, yeah, I imagine The so, green screen they... makes him look fake. It does. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what is hey, going on here, but when we were talking about this, we're like, did they get a deep fake Drake? No, uh, it's, no, <laughs> it's really AI, AI Drake. <laughs> it was really fun to like throw celebrities names in a hat to like hit up for the met gala ap episode mm. um they were like yeah. all day on set like making calls and yeah <laughs> wait but... wait 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 what do you they were they were shooting the met gala episode yeah we were, were block there? shooting so we were shooting the met gala episode and the finale at the same time oh what oh, this is new to all of us yeah. yeah 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 so yeah. like Every day, Dave was like, "Name a name a celebrity. Let's see if they will be in the Met Gala episode." Right. Yeah, because <laughs> that was just like a really random, random yeah, it's like collective a of, people. of random celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. That is wow. Oh my gosh. So who'd yeah, you throw yeah. in the hat? What'd you say? Who'd you throw in the hat? And did they get on the episode? Um, I threw in old men. Like you know, I threw in Michael Keaton. Okay. Um, I really wanted Michael Keaton. That would have been choice. And, and I missed like, Demi. I missed. Oh, I think I threw like people were throwing in Demi's name because Scooter Braun's a producer on Dave, and mm -hmm. that's her manager or yeah. was maybe. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. uh, I, 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 I like just met her. I, I mean, I just missed her, and I was so upset because oh my gosh, I have the biggest crush on Demi Lovato, and mm. so it was really heartbreaking for me. For some reason, I, I mean, I feel like I'm old and I'm about to date myself. When you said Demi, I was like, more? Is she still alive? <laughs> is she doing things? I was also thinking where, Demi. Where that is she? Be, that would be a slay. <laughs> that would be a slay. Um, Give me so Demi hilarious. more. Give me all the Demi more. Yeah. I know. So wait, did you, yeah, uh, this is so random. Travis Barker. Just, okay, what's up? I know. Right. <laughs> Travis Barker, <laughs> MGK, Megan Fox, um, Jack Harlow, of course, is like the big villain in this. I episode. love Jack Harlow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don yeah. Cheadle. Don <laughs> Cheadle. Don Cheadle, of course. Yeah. And then also Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Oh, Did right. you all see Dave's post, Dickie's post of the bloopers between him and Jack? On his Instagram? Uh, no, I don't yes. think I caught that. I did. I, so I watched funny. it. Yeah, it was super good. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, like, that is... Dave, D that YouTuber on the far left, like, what mm -hmm. is the... Yeah, what the, is that this? was so... Yeah, I'll... Yeah, yeah, I'll hold on a second. I love So I that love means it. I got a chance. We all got a chance of yes, being... Yes, exactly. Back. Being on Dave. Exactly. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Put in a good Equal opportunity employer. I will. I will. <laughs> tell tell Brad I said what's up and we would love to have him on the show. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. God. Um, um, well, it is about that time today. Well, uh, I, I did have one more question. Yeah. Oh. Go for it. What is your favorite movie and TV show? Ooh. Currently, it doesn't have to be like your favorite of all time, but just kind of like something. Okay, you know, but I do have my favorite of all time movie. Let's okay. do that too. Okay, my favorite of all time movie is Forrest Gump. Okay, that's a very great solid answer. choice. Solid choice. Um, and then my favorite TV show of all time is. Are you ready? It's very homosexual. Okay. Okay. Alias. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there. yeah. A lot of people yeah. said go awakening. Mm. Oh yeah, that yeah, that yeah, that makes yeah, yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> so good. But like recently one of my favorite movies to come out, um 
it was probably like Annihilation. I don't know. There's something Ooh. about that movie. Yeah. Um, and also, Saltburn is freaking good, y'all. It is so good. Yeah. Wait, which one's Annihilation? Annihilation's the Natalie Portman, Gina Rodriguez, Oscar um, Isaac, I think. Uh, yeah. Oscar Isaac, Jennifer Jason it's Lee. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. all okay. the girls go out and fuck shit up in a magical alien forest. Yeah. And that's, oh, that's okay. <laughs> If you don't want to watch it after that synopsis, then I don't know what's wrong with you. I know. Yeah, yeah totally. You got, I'm <laughs> hook, line, sinker. I'm down. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It's we so good. Movies for a living, and that was. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'm a poet with these words. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna need to take it <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's sort of round this out uh, tonight. Where can people, first of all, thank you so much for, for coming on giving us all the insider trader secrets like Martha Stewart, giving us all the stories, stuff that you're like, I don't know if I should say this, but here we go. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate all of that. Um, let people know where they can find you, anything you're, you're doing in the meantime, yada, yada, all that good oh stuff. Gosh. Just take, uh, take over the show for a little bit. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure. Um, thanks for letting me be myself and creating space for that. Um, I, you can find me on Instagram. It's Tanae with an underscore T E N E A underscore. Um, and right now, uh, I co-wrote and, um, acted in a short film that I actually did right before, um, Dave about a stalker mm, and cool. it's doing the, um, festival circuit. Uh, right now we just got back from London and we're slated to shoot that in the spring of next year, which is really exciting. Um, wow. Beautiful. And um, what what what's cool about the short film is that it um, takes place all underneath the bed. What? Oh, okay. So you're with like you're the, with the stalker. Under, yeah. Okay. Under the bed. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. I like that concept quite a bit. Yeah. 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 That's so great so great well everybody go follow Tanae. go on instagram uh Tanae, are you anywhere else or you just prefer everybody to follow you on instagram yeah just on the insta on the okay insta, do it do it like all the kids <laughs> <laughs> well you didn't say you didn't say just strictly facebook so i feel like there's a, you know there, there's some uh freedom right there um but yeah everybody if you haven't watched the episode go watch it recently then come back to watch this Go and watch over was it what was it overthinking? That was the overthinking show too? with Cat and June, yeah. Overthinking That's with Cat and June. Joke, Go yeah. watch that some more and uh look out for, for Tanae. She's making she's hitting the scene with um her movie and and I think we'll just look forward to it. And then when that's out and out and about and stuff, we'd I think we'd love to have you on again in, in the oh future. Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. Also, I'll oh, send yeah. you the link to watch the short so you can see. Let's do it. Let's oh, do yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Awesome. Uh, well, let's Thank let's get on out of here. You're you're very welcome today, Kirsten. Where can people find you if they want to reach out to you for just to see? Hey, how are you doing? Well, you know, you can find me on Instagram. It's still my name, as always. I was not creative enough at the time to come up with any other shit for my social media. So, uh, <laughs> Kirsten underscore Cobb is my Instagram, and Kirsten Cobb one is my Twitter. I'm on Facebook because I am an old bitch and I'm proud of that. I'll be 34 in nine days. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius. Dondrous. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can find me on all the social medias and, and things. Uh, just my name, Kirsten Cobb. Don't wear it out. Do wear it out. I'd love that. Please wear it out. Mm. <laughs> Whatever it is, she's returned. So wear it out <laughs> if you want to. Uh, producer T. Where can people find you if they want to reach out to you? Yeah, especially if you've been on a TV show that we currently breaking down or plan to break down, you can definitely reach out to me. And that's always at Terry F Photos. That's my Instagram. Or if you're looking for like an awesome pen, this isn't actually one of my pens, but just a pen in general, you can reach me at tpens, C-O. That's uh, for Colorado. Cause that's where Terry is. Yeah, if you want, exactly. ever want to like, find him and stalk him, yeah, yeah. He's in, he's in yeah, yeah. one of his clothes. <laughs> Love it. Um, nine. Where can people find you if they want to reach out to you? 
Thanks for asking, my dear boy. You can find me right here on Nine Nerd Yards or Nerds at Night. Um, hit up the Discord. Uh, we have 300 people in there just ch chatting about random things that they like to talk about, about what they like to watch. They give me video ideas. Uh, the Patreon is only $1. Get everything early. Um, go watch the new uh, Atlanta Iceberg video that I just posted. Um, thank you to everybody that just watched it. Uh, you know, it like almost 30K like 30, right that, now. 30, almost 30K in like a few days. So that is mm -hmm. fucking awesome. Thank you guys so much for uh, uh, supporting everyone here. Um, and yeah, thank you very much today. But uh, Blake, what's that? Where can people find you? Thought you'd never ask. You can find me, Money Blake Weather, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You can find me also, too, on Nerds at Night, dropping a whole murder. If you guys are murder mystery fans out there, I am your sleuth. I just broke down Godsford Park, uh, and it's a whole murder mystery ride. We, we, I don't reveal the killer. You can pause it. I give you all the clues, and you can see if you can figure it out. I have a neck, another one dropping. Uh, Evil Under the Sun. If you are a FQ Poirot fan, Agatha Christie fan, I'm dropping Evil Under the Sun sometime this week. Pretty also, too crazy. You guys, uh, yeah. If you place. uh love, I, I loved it. I loved it. I break it down. I give you the makeup of what a murder mystery is. I walk you through the murder mystery. Let you figure it out. There's nothing else like it. So I hope everybody gets a chance to enjoy it. Also, check out my Marvels review. If you hated it as much as I did, go and check it out. It's great. Um, but yeah, thank y'all, everybody who's who's been tuning in to Nerds at Night, the other channel that we have. Y'all have gotten us over in, in a very short amount of time, over 100 subscribers. So we're, we're continuously trying to build that out. Us along with uh drunk banthas so that's just a lot of words everybody just money blake weather just type that in to your googles it'll take you to me how about that um, how about that <laughs> right and on that note i want to thank everybody for commenting for tuning in for uh checking us out even if it was for a minute or watching us on the replay morning evening afternoon whatever time it is we all always appreciate you we we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Happy holidays. And until the next time we see you, peace. You did this. Okay? Peace, everybody. Fuck you guys. First of all, I've been holding it this whole time. Look at it. Look at it? Yeah. Don't look at me.